Okay, uh, what I have here is a coin and some cards. The coin is there simply to replicate you making choices. You're going to make all the choices and we'll do this just randomly by choosing heads or tails. And uh, trust me, it has got a head on it. Okay, and over here we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cards. Enough for two hands of poker. We're going to make po play a game of poker, but you're going to make all the choices. So, I'll keep this consistent so we have heads on your right, tails on your left. So heads, and that means your card is a nine. Okay, next two cards, and you'll make a choice, and this time you're going to choose this one, tails, and this, which is probably a little bit better in the grand scheme of things. Next one, heads, which is this one. Ah. So you now have a pair of nines. And, oh, um, I've <laughs> yeah, I think it might still be all right, but I've only got one, you've got three. So let's see, you make a choice. Which one do you want me to have to add to mine? Uh, and again, we'll choose by the coin, and it's this one. Uh-huh, okay. And uh, since I'm one behind now, I'd look. Might as well choose me another one. This time it's a head. Right, back to you. So left or right, heads or tails? Heads. What have you got? Oh, you've got an ace. <coughs> so you've now got two pairs. If you look over here, we've got um, all the hand rankings and you see one pair is at the very bottom. Two pairs is the next one up. So you're already on this scoring uh, sheet, uh, second from the bottom. Cool. Okay, uh, I've only got three, so let's choose again. Heads or tails. And it's heads this time. Okay. Now this is at the point at which I would point out to you what's possible and I would say to you which of these cards is going to make your hand better. Um, now if you know about poker you would know immediately that um, if I put them the right way around so you can see uh, the 9 is going to give you a full house. Now it's the best you can do. The 10 would just still keep you on two pairs. So you would choose, one would hope, the 9 and that gives you a full house of nines and aces. I don't know, is it nines over aces or aces over nines? <laughs> I'm not absolutely sure, uh, but never mind, um, because it doesn't matter what you've got. What you see I'm left with, in fact, is a royal flush, which is right there at the top. It's the best hand you can get. You made all the choices. Well, the coin did. But the really crazy thing about it is I kind of knew what was going to happen from the beginning. So your full house will lose to my straight flush.